guys, so one of the best parts of living in California is that I now have access to Japanese candy a lot more than I did in Texas. So I went a little bit crazy and I got a lot of candy kits. I'll be doing a lot more candy videos. But I just wanted to show you guys some of the things I got because I was really excited. So the first store that I went to was Marikai and I'll put the addresses down below. Uh, I'm in San Diego so that's where everything is. Um, but Marikai didn't have a terrible amount of candy kits, but I still got some stuff. So the first thing I got was this kit that is by Meiji or Megum. And this is a, I always forget if it's Taiyaki or Takoyaki. I think this is Taiyaki. I'm so sorry, I always forget. Um, but I actually have the, um, the Pop and Cookin' version of this, the crazy version which is like the savory one, which I will be doing here very soon. I'm sorry I haven't been doing that many candy kits, but I will be doing the, so I'll do the savory version, and this is like the gummy version, I think. So it's going to be a little bit more sweet. So I'm really excited to try it. Maybe I'll do both of them in one video. I don't know. We shall see. But I think it'll be really cool. So I got that. Then I got these, and I think I've had these before. This is the apple pie flavor and I am obsessed with apple pie it's like my favorite pie ever in the world so these look really good they're like little kind of puff pastry um things and it has a filling inside and I'm really excited about it oh it says you can microwave them yummy I'm really excited these are really really good so I got those so that's all I got at Marikai I didn't get that much there um which is a good thing because I ended up buying a whole bunch of other stuff so then, like, literally right in the same parking lot as Marikai is Tokyo Central, and it is amazing. Um, if you live in the San Diego area, definitely need to go. Um, I may have, like, a meetup there. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. But they have a ton of stuff. They have a ton of plushies, and they have a ton of candy, and just a lot of really cool stuff. So I went crazy with the candy, so let me show you what I got. First, I got this, and I'm not sure what this character is, but it looks like... This is somewhat similar to maybe the pancake one. I don't know if all of it is like you're making a jelly. I'm not entirely sure. But it looks kind of cool and you can decorate his face. So I'm excited about this one. I don't even know what it's called. By Mato. So yeah. So there's that one. Then I got these, and I think they're so funny. I'm loving Gudetama more and more, and I think these are really, really, really funny. So these are little gummies, and they're so cute. And the packaging is just really cute. So, yeah, these are adorable. I don't know what flavor it is. Probably lemon and orange, I would assume. Maybe mango. I'm not sure. But these are really cute. I love them. And I got this other package with Gudetama on it, and I just can't get enough of him. These are uh, soft candies, which looks like maybe like a milk or a cream flavor. But I just love him. Is he like itching his butt? That's funny. So I got those, which I'm excited to try. I saw this and I about died because the packaging is like the cutest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Uh, it's a little twin star, so I had to get it. I don't even know if I'll like the little crackers, but I don't care at this point because I just really wanted the packaging. I don't know. Is that bad? Let me know if you guys buy things just because of the packaging and not because you care what's inside of it. But yeah, so I think they're just like little cracker things. But look at this packaging. It's so cute. With the bow, it's adorable. They had a My Melody one too, but I already was buying way too much. Looks like it's resealable, so very, very kawaii. I love it. Then I got this one, which I don't think I've done before. It looks similar to the one with um, the blue, like the ice. It's like the sherbet one or something. But I think this one is just all gummy candy. So I'm kind of excited about this one. Looks like you put it in the refrigerator for a while. Or the freezer, rather. So yeah, I'm excited you tried that one. I got this one, which looks like one of the ones that you just have a tray and you mix stuff in. These usually aren't my favorite type um, of candy kits because I just think they're kind of 
like goopy, but we'll see. I don't generally like just eating like the foams, but we'll see. So it's somewhat interesting. So there's that one. Then I got a bunch of drink ones, and I was thinking of doing all the drink ones in one candy marathon, so like a drink-themed candy marathon. So the first one is this one, which is like the beer one, and it looks like it comes with one of four like collectible mugs. And I know now that this is Shin Chan, um, I realized that when I did the butt video and everyone was telling me it was Shin Chan, so I don't ever watch, um, I guess it's a show, but I don't ever watch it, so I'm sorry. So yeah, so this is really cool. I guess it's just you mix it with um, water uh, powder and it makes like a little fake beer. So it's really cool that it gives you like a, a collectible mug. So we'll see which one I get. So that's fun. And I got this drink, which looks like it is a great flavor drink. With this same character that I'm not sure what it is. So that should be interesting. And then lastly, I got this one, which I'm not sure what this character is either. It's cool though. It looks like it comes with like a cool little cup too. I like that they come with like collect. I like what the ones that come with collectible cups. But this one looks really interesting. It looks like it's cola flavored. So yeah. So I'll probably do all the drink ones in one video. I think that'd be kind of cool. So that was all of the candy that I bought, and then right around the corner was this bookstore called Book Off, and they have a huge, huge selection of Japanese items, and I asked the guy to help me find the craft section because it wasn't labeled, and it was just a little tiny section, but I found this book, and I want to show you guys. So I got this book, and at first it looks like a baking book, but this is actually made out of clay, and this is a whole book on making fake foods. And it's really, really cool. Shows you making molds. Making different pastries with textures. I have several of these books. And I really, really like them because they give me kind of ideas on how to texture things. I know I haven't been making a lot of fake food lately. But I'm going to try to do that more. I think these are really cool. So yeah. And this book was only, how much was it? It's like eight fifty, so they have a lot of used books for a really good price. Because I think um, before when I went to Kinakunia, it was pretty pricey for one of these types of books. So I'm fine with it being used, and it's just really really cool. I'm excited to be living next to Japanese things because I didn't really have that before in Texas. So. Uh, I will be doing candy marathons coming up here soon. Lots of candy videos. I know you guys have been wanting that. And I'm so sorry that it's taken me so long. Um, but I will be definitely doing those here coming up. More craft videos. More of everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.